but okay. Weird little hitch, but it's fine. Everything is fine. See, there's Brave. All he has to say is go save the world. He won't take off his armor. Uh, one thing I didn't realize for some reason. Uh, so I got uh, Grand Marshal's shield and sword and staff. Those actually are pieces of equipment. I am going to equip it. Why not? It's supposed to be the uh, Idea who wields the staff, but Tiz can hold it. It's fine. Uh, I'm also... I've also decided that I'm going to put the Grand Marshal's sword on a Dia. It's a slight damage upgrade, which is cool. Also gives me access to uh, greatsword specials, which I don't remember what they are. I mean, I guess they're all attacks. That part's cool. All right, let's see real quick. We've got Limit Break. Uh, Norse Physical Defense, that's cool. Air Splitter. Um, back All. Boss Crusher, that's got to be a new one. I mean, so is Limit Break. That matter. Single Target and Supernova. Light based, all targets. Okay. Yeah, I want that. Sounds great. Alrighty then. Oh, I don't know what's going on with all these hitches. That is slightly concerning. Uh, I think I know... Well, I've got one trick that might fix that. We'll see. We're off to Montano Villa. Oh! That is... That is a ball. Game thinks I'm under-leveled, so I guess I'll turn encounters back up to normal. It's probably for the best. He's feeling brave against some kobolds. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put on the Divine Fist, because that 8 point difference in attack power probably uh, mitigated. Uh, probably not as big as the uh, what am I trying to say? The, uh, the boost that I get from lighting. It's, uh... Actually, no. I'm gonna... fall from this turn. Please. Big damage. The extra crits help, but big damage. Uh, uh, probably to fire. Oh, 
Oh, they're not weak to anything. Well, the slash is weak to like. Oh. Wow. How embarrassing to to miss uh Dia when she's paralyzed. Probably more that uh, Brave Robber uh, has a limited low accuracy. Yeah. didn't have trick walls before. Sure hope that they don't. That is enemies. I don't think I approve. Alright, well let's Let's bust out the old air splitter for old time's sake. Hey Frost, uh, I am pretty well. Thank you for asking. Alright, this is truly awesome. Uh -huh. It's crazy. That's one word for it. Alright, um. Oh, thank God. Alright. I'm gonna try some shenanigans here. Sure, you know what? Resurrection blast. So let's see how this works. Ah, can't believe it. I take back that thing about being too crazy. Oh, hold on. We're not supposed to see that. We're gonna pretend that that didn't happen. Exactly. All right. Um, let's hope I don't get completely owned by a band of kobolds again. Oh, there they are. Second verse, same as the first. Uh, it's fine. We'll try this. Try to build up some BP and uh, not die. Say your prayers! Is that overkill? Maybe. Cheer up, guys! I've got this! They've already killed me, so, you know, anything goes. 
See if I can actually get two of these. Uh, yeah. For her, I'll just do that. And I want to revive one of my attacks. Make sure that Adia gets targeted the most. Actually, no, what am I thinking? Uh, this and that guarantee that uh, Adia gets targeted. Beautiful. It's a Dragon Ball Z style uh, wide range E blast. Oh, the party's feeling brave. How about that? Uh, a couple of Bombays. Supernova. Oh yeah, check that out. And uh, let's see, lightning, the lightning arrow, and focus it on the slasher. That sounds like fun. Lightning rain, that sounds like fun. Alright. Ain't dead yet. And going to do like this. a good old benediction blast. Good enough. Alright. Got my revenge on the gang of five kobolds. Uh, really raises it. Ooh, by a thousand. A thousand HP is a lot. Nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. Do I want to give up anything favor? I kind of don't. It's fine. It'll be fine. Everything will work out.
everything is fine so far. We get a brave attack. Yes. Excellent. All right. Feeling great about that opening start. Um, oh, I know. Let's see if I can make them all take a nap. That would be ideal. the supernova. That was really not that impressive. I don't know. Maybe it's because uh, Adia is not in a particularly offensively geared class. That's entirely possible. Try using some of these. Oh, it's a good blind effect. I think that's usually good. Them to do as little harm as possible. That seems to be the way to do it. Starting to creep into the lower range of uh, where they want me in terms of level. Certainly. Really loses MP by 100. Not a bad idea, still, but. And I don't think I'm gonna go for. confused by the map for reasons uh, beyond my own understanding. I don't know what could have possibly confused me. Don't quit. Okay, maybe this will teach him.
good enough for me. worked out in the end. Get this piece of treasure. 99 carbine. Great, because I'm using the Hawkeye. Ooh, look at that. goes beyond a simple bayonet, that's more of a cleaver. Uh, I could squeak out like one more level, that would be pretty nice. actually really good because I get to try out this I don't I haven't been using cat Nancy skills all that much I'm only still in this class for the uh, draw physical attack now. But now that everyone's asleep I'm just ripping pieces New twist on the old favorite, which was uh, poison and exterminate, and bravely sac uh, bravely default. Only inflicting sleep. Oh. That worked out pretty well, actually, because that was all four coin flips uh, working once. Um, so far, so good. The uh, second verse, same as the first. Might as well. There, there's got to be some uh, other conditions that go into that, right? Because winning four coin flips in a row and then winning the next four in a row afterwards, that's... The odds of that are not very high. That's uh, let's see, one in two fifty six. I think. Anyway, is that? Don't. It's a ball. This can't be. It's exuding a level of power on par with, no, even exceeding Diamantes. Yet that there's good? been no word from Fort Loon. Did it penetrate the moon's defenses? No, Appleberry would never let that happen. This is no time for panic, Magnolia. 
There's a ball in front of us, and we have to defeat it. That's all that matters right now. So we're right. a ball Let's focus on the battle time. before us. We can't let any sacrifice be in vain. Not now. Not ever. Is everyone ready? Let's do it. We're coming for you. Ball the first. Turtle Dove! Turtle Dove? Did you fight Turtle Dove before? I know I fought Turtle Dove before. I just can't remember if it ever came up in game. In this playthrough. But, okay. How to deal with it. Um, I guess, first things first, let's scan it. For the defenses and such. Weak to wind. Aerial. That's cool. Um... Give it a sonic boom. And also more Bushido. I can just attack with Magnolia and target the weakness, and that's cool. I like that. Sure, one go. Yeah, that worked out pretty nicely. Slow the boss down. Now I know that its attack is a physical attack. Ooh. That's phenomenal. Say your prayers! Just in time. Rejuvenation. We've only begun to fight. Uh, 
what else can I do? Let's fight Blondie. Attack, attack, attack. Uh, ooh. Got another tornado dart. Well, this would be fine. Oh yeah, there's a soul cannon going. Kind of makes me wish I had uh, uh, done that in Bravely Second, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Ooh, uh oh, this is. Probably gonna hurt. Do you think? So, how dare. How dare Turtle Dove here. Uh, Just give it some three BG. Alright, uh if I had let's see. I have like a powerful attack. Uh we'll do perforator. How's that? This should work out. There we go. Down goes Turtle Dove. I guess I didn't do a fantastic job of explaining the gimmick like I should have. <sighs> that, that was ridiculous. I guess I can do that now, though. Uh, the, the gimmick, if you didn't catch on, is that uh, Turtle Dove will make a character fall in love with uh, another party member. Then the, the party member that's in love will mimic uh, whoever they're in love with. Um, there are more advanced forms of the gimmick, uh, where there can be like a love triangle, where two party members will fall in love with the same uh, third party member, and then they'll kind of beat each other up, which is not great. And then you also saw there uh, that attack that damages anyone who's in love for pretty heavy damage. Uh, Adia. Well, Adia was kind of the only one who was victim to it, but still took kind of a lot of damage despite her defenses. It was stronger than any ball anyway. I've ever seen. What's happening in Caldisla? First our memories, now this ball? I don't know, but we have learned one thing. Luxendark still isn't free from the threat of the balls. Au contraire, the threat is greater than ever. This ball made it past the moon's defenses almost entirely unscathed. This is Magnolia. We confirmed the presence of a new ball. We dispatched it at once, but... Impossible! We haven't let any balls through! I suspected as much. Somehow, it eluded the moon's scanners entirely. 
Preposterous! No ball has ever slipped through Fort Loon's defense system undetected. Until now. This demands an investigation. This may not be an isolated incident. As a citizen of the moon, I have a duty to protect Luxendark. That's right! Ballbuster Magnolia Arch will not take this threat sitting down! Understood. We are counting on you, Magnolia. I'm sorry, everyone. It looks like I'll be needing your help just a little bit longer. Don't be sorry. We'll help you for as long as you need. Yeah. There's no way we're letting these balls have their way with Lux and Dark. Not after all we've done. Merci, mes amis. Are you okay, Tiz? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> Sir Tiz, how fare thee? Oh, Egil. <clears throat> the dread beast that beset the villa has been slain. Seriously? Man, Tiz, you really are a hero. My friends, can you hear me? Your Holiness. Huh? Is that Ines' voice? Where is she? Right in here. Say hello, Egil. Uh, what? How'd she get stuck in there? Uh, Ines! Uh, I never knew a person could be shrunk so small! What are you doing here, Tiz? You gotta get her out of there! <laughs> oh, Egil! Have you been well? I, 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 yeah, wait, you're not in trouble? <laughs> not any longer. Agnes, what's going on? I heard about your troubles in Keltisla, or I should say, I remembered. So you'd forgotten Keltisla too? I cannot explain these recent events, but they could have grave implications for our future. I am traveling to Keltisla as we speak. Let us meet with the king together. Certainly, Your Holiness. We'll meet you at the castle. Whoa! Where'd she go? So it's some kind of... communication device? Whoa! That's so high-tech! That was great! More like totally delicious! You've become a real master chef, Magnolia. Vraiment? You're so kind. Didn't you learn a new recipe from Sakura just the other day? She did. It started with Alfred's recipe, remember? Then you got Martha at the dorms to share her secrets. You're practically a culinary expert now. <laughs> anyway, I had better clean up. I'll help. Merci. But it's quite all right. I believe the cook should also clean up. Oh, I'm so stuffed I can hardly move. I'm just gonna conk out right here. You shouldn't sleep right after eating, you know. Yeah, well, what happened to eat, sleep, and be merry, huh? That's, um, eat, drink, and be merry. For tomorrow we die. What? Who's dying? <laughs> no one, we hope. Which is why we don't want you sleeping on a full stomach. <sighs> anyway, we'll be back on the Rub-A-Dub soon. I can't wait to have a good long soak. I love the bath oil Sakura adds. The aromas are so refreshing. She has so many different kinds, too. Rose, orange blossom, pomegranate, wild fig and ginger, and even champagne. Yes, sir. I could stay in the baths all day and night, looking up as the sun gives way to the stars. Yep. Soaking in a warm bath from dawn to dusk. Wouldn't that be the life? Heh. <laughs> Did you say warm water? Are you completely nuts? A bath has to be so hot you can barely stand it. Then, when it feels like you can't breathe anymore, you jump out and douse yourself with cold water. That's a real bath. So all that splashing and shrieking coming from the ladies' bath was you. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think Idy is on the mark. 
I mean, sitting in a warm bath for hours is nice, but it does get a bit boring. Exactly. What's the point if you just end up dozing off? But don't you get tired leaping in and out of water that's either too hot or too cold? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's not tiring. It's, it's refreshing. Especially when you cap it off with... An ice-cold latte! Exactly. Knocking back an ice latte so cold you can barely taste it. <sighs> or you could just have a coffee. Sir, coffee and cafe latte are completely different. You! I think I can finally understand you. And I you, my dear Idia. Your Holiness, you're already here. Caldisla disappeared from our memories, only to appear again all of a sudden. Something is amiss here. Indeed, and the King has just shared with me an equally disturbing tale. Do tell. For those of us on the outside, it was as though Caldisla suddenly returned to our memories. But for the people of this land, it was the existence of the rest of the world which came back to them only now. Hmm. A most curious state of affairs indeed. I ask of you, Vestal of Wind, uh, uh, beg pardon, your holiness, I would hear your counsel, whatever should I and my kingdom do. Your highness. I thank you for welcoming me back to Caldisla with such warmth. As for your question... I'm glad your arm's feeling better. My arm? Yes, it's fine. That's a load off. Seeing you run about all the time, sometimes I get worried. I'm simply doing my duty. I do not find it a burden. So come on, spill it! Did you find out anything about Yoko? Yoko? What are you... But what do you think, Idia? Huh? I think, uh... uh, uh sorry, what are we talking about? Honestly, Idia, this is a serious meeting between world leaders. We were discussing how the balls might be appearing. Never mind how they appear. We don't even know where they come from. That's true. And even if we did know, something is clearly different this time. There are just too many things we don't understand about these balls. I'm sorry. I should know more. Don't be so hard on yourself, Magnolia. It's not your fault. Our heroes, surely you must be exhausted after such a harrowing battle. Pray, stay the night and rest yourselves. Deception, and I call myself a ball buster. 
What do I truly know about the balls? I never even thought to ask. Please, don't blame yourself, Magnolia. I'm no better. I knew nothing about the true Crystal Guard. Nothing about my own brother. You... Thank you. Oh, there must be someone out there who can give us a clue, right? Do not judge a carrot by its leaves, nor a man by his words alone. True value is rarely apparent on the surface you'll find. It's a ghost! My young friends, it would seem you have questions about the balls, and I may very well have answers. It is well, cum si cum sa. Would you start with the good news or the bad? Oh, this never ends well. All right, give us the good news first. The good news is that, yes, I have finally uncovered the truth behind the balls. Ah, la vache! You have? And what is it? I'm afraid that brings us to the bad news. I believe. No, I am convinced that the balls are the unresolved feelings of my dearest Vega given life. C'est horrible! How can this be? Vega was your beloved, no? The one you left behind in the celestial realm? The same. And the balls that threatened to destroy Luxendark. As much as I am loath to admit it, they were born of our shared memories. Your memories created the balls? How is that even possible? It is only a theory, but... I believe that Vega even now harbors feelings of deep yearning and remorse. And that someone, something, has seized upon these emotions, giving them physical form as weapons of mass destruction. What a monster! Manipulating someone's feelings for such a terrible purpose! You can say that again. So, uh, this means that the balls come from the celestial realm? That would be the only reasonable assumption. That settles it. Altair, let's go to the Celestial Realm and save Vega from this nightmare. Oh, a most kind offer you. And yet I fear it is not so simple. Oh. I too long to mm -hmm. see my Vega again. So I searched and searched for a way to reach the Celestial Realm to no avail. We'll just have to keep trying then. Never say never until you're dead! <laughs> A sentiment I shared, my dear you. Which is why I kept trying, kept searching, until my death. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... A joke, my dear boy, a joke! <laughs> so you're just going to give up? You've carried on all these years in the hopes of seeing Vega again. Now you're just going to accept how things are? Oh, of course I do not accept it. How could I accept my beloved being used as an instrument of destruction? I want to help her with all my heart I do, and yet... <sighs> my, my friends, might I beseech your aid? Obviously, Whoa, yes. why so formal? Of course you can. Magnolia here is a ball buster, after all. And even if I weren't, I would help. Anyone who'd use another's love for the purpose of evil deserves to get theirs. Right. You've been our friend from the start, Altair. We've been through so much together, we're not giving up on you now. Your... friend? Oh, thank you, my dear children. As a matter of fact, I unearthed a new clue since coming to this place. A fairy named Anna. Right! It was as if Diamante was under her control! And she mentioned something about her master, didn't she? I think we've seen enough to know that she's involved up to her eyeballs. Then our course of action is clear. Search out Anna, my young friends. With all my heart, bon chance! Hey, I recognize this place. The Norende Ravine.
That's where the great chasm used to be. That's a Chris fairy. <laughs> so there was a path between Lux and Dark and the Celestial Realm right here. What a delightful surprise. I've been having so much fun taking out the moon that I never even thought to look for one. But this changes everything. <laughs> Why, from a place like this, I can summon balls and balls galore. Those moonies can't do a thing for Lux and Dark if my balls come through here. They'll be pumped and primed for battle. And not only that, oh no, it might even be possible for my lord to descend upon Lux and Dark from here. The only fly in the ointment is you, Jenny Olja, and his stupid friends. They've interfered with me every step of the way. Why, they've even recovered memories from alternate dimensions. That's basically cheating, you know. How are they doing it? Is it that hourglass they have? No, that alone wouldn't explain it. Ugh. Kind of explains it, what though. What is their little secret? I mean, that's literally how we broke the cycle. But I guess we also have a little outside help. Altire. All right, uh... The game obviously wants us to go to the ravine. But, uh, let's not. Let's go to the side quest marker instead. Remember Vampire Castle? Just a tiny bit under leveled. That's concerning, but uh, well, we'll manage. We'll manage. The keystones are all in place, and yes, the door's unlocked. Oh, good. We don't have to do oh, that part. What does that mean? My guess is someone must be inside. Let's have a look around. Be sure to wrap up warm, Magnolia. It's freezing inside. Just a coincidence, but it is very funny to me, personally, that Idea singled out Magnolia given her uh, costume. Ooh. I don't know how this castle manages to be colder on the inside than the out. You've been here before, Idia? Yeah, once yeah, or twice. With Agnes and Tiz. Look, what's that? <gasps> Alternus? This helm. Alternus! Stay strong, Idia. I'm sure he's all right. Let's go look for him. All right. Uh, yeah. By the way, one of the things about Vampire Castle this time around is I'm not allowed to manipulate the encounter rate. It is... Fixed at a zero percent change. Let's see, we've got bats here. I'll try Soul Blaster. See if I can get enough uh, damage in before Dia's turn. Twenty-five percent. Nice. 
And she got confused. Uh, but that's something that can be fixed, thankfully. Innocence should do it. How did she get first move? to poke around for some treasure. Ether and High Potion is not particularly inspiring as far as treasure goes, but okay. This will do. Almost mastered Hawkeye with Nolia. Which kind of reminds me, did I master it with... Yeah, I did not. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Look, this painting. That's new. Yoko? Remember what Alternus said? He was going after Yoko. Why, if it isn't our loyal minister of the right. What? Yoko? Yoko! Suddenly she's if you here. laid a hand on Alternus, I'll... I'll... Idia, don't do anything rash. <laughs> Wise advice. We think you would do well to listen. Your knight in not-so-shining armor is fine. At least he seemed healthy, running away as fast as his legs could carry him. But enough talk about him. We are much more interested in you. Perhaps you are aware that Vampire Castle is known by another name. The Hall of Truth, where the curious can learn all there is to know. Yet some truths are not so easily faced. I've never heard it called that. What if you... Would you cast off your blissful ignorance and face the truth? Then make for the floors above. But be forewarned. Before you can learn the truth, you must prove yourself worthy of it. Tis, do not think you can avoid the dangers that you would encounter in this place. Within these walls, the powers of Lux and Dark's gods will not avail you. This is our realm. We make the rules, and you have no choice but to play by them. It is only fair, yes? A truth learned through anything other than your own efforts is no truth at all. I don't know that I we necessarily shall you agree above. with that, but... Fare thee well. Okay. <laughs> The truth? What is she talking about? Tis, we don't have to do anything she says. But what about Alternus? This is a side quest. <laughs> At last it's working. 
Alternus! Thank heavens you're safe! Yes, it was a close call, but I made it. You should have known it was too much to handle by yourself. Do you have any idea how worried we were? Ah, well, you... Oh, you blockhead! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know Alternus is safe. What should we do now? Well, I don't trust that girl at all. This could very well be a trap. That is a possibility, yes. But what if she's telling the truth? And so I think the whole reason they made uh, the ability to manipulate the encounter rate diegetic, the reason they made it something that Tiz can do, for whatever reason, I think it was specifically for this dungeon, so they could take it away and put another, you know, put a diegetic reason for that. Uh, that's just my guess, anyway. The alternates we found. Well, the the helmet we found, belonging to alternates. How does he still have it in the communication thing, uh, crystal? He very clearly had it. What's up with that? How curious. Alright, uh, let's just do the thing where I... Where I just kill every one. Oh, right, I also forgot that there would be more enemies. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Second verse, same as the first. Ooh, I got an idea. Missing miss. Pure status effects immediately. Was it? I already forget. Right. Fire a bullet into the air that will come down to strike your target the following turn for extra damage. A maximum of five bullets may be fired at once. Uh, what was the other jobs that I had for her? What else was I working on? Fencer, I suppose. What are her abilities? I might mess around. Put her back on Fencer. 
if I can get those cool, cool uh, stance uh, boosts. I'm just thinking of other things I can put on. I don't know. Maybe I won't mess around with what's working for the time being. Yes, Tiara. Classic. Makes us aware immune to charm. That might be a good idea over out of your hood. Put the healer immune to charm. Generally a good idea. About the last person I would want to get charmed. We got here. We got Cerberus. Um, I guess. I believe Cerberus is weak to ice. There it is. That's the weak point. Um, Take that. You love me some five thousand peaks. Please lurk out of sight. Right? This will work out well. Well, let's try a couple of death spirals. Who the hell of it? That didn't quite work out as I'd hoped. Came through this just fine. And what's this next painting, I wonder? We were wondering how long you meant to keep us waiting. But no matter, we shall keep our promise. This is the first truth. The tale of the ambitious man. did we lay in slumber that first time that we slept we awakened and opened our eyes to the sight of a man standing before us this man this ambitious man had come to explore the shrine in which we slept 20 years ago another man another ambitious man came for us he brought with him a young girl and within her body encased our very soul. With this, his true goal would be realized. The man had come to plunder the shrine, to claim the treasures that had been offered to us over the ages. 
His expedition a success, the man assembled his fleet and set sail for Gathlatio. Blissfully ignorant of the truth, the truth that within the girl's chest slept the seed of a deadly plague. Oh, Fever struck her only again. days into the journey. With haste, the fleet made for the nearest port. The man wanted to continue, but the girl's grandfather, the owner of the fleet, forbade it. Fearing that the girl carried a deadly disease, he appealed to the church, demanding that the girl be quarantined. The ambitious man wished to take the girl, and his treasures, home. He petitioned the church for permission to set sail. The leaders of the church, unable to reach a consensus, sent for an exorcist. This exorcist, a man by the name of Geist, would free the girl of whatever evil possessed her. Those who sought to keep the girl in town thought they could use the ritual as a pretense to delay the fleet's departure. The other camp believed that once the ritual was performed, she would be cured, and there would be no more reason to hold her. And so it came to pass that a compassionate man, a covetous man, a merciful man, an ambitious man, and a wise man, reached their decision. A terrible decision, the most sinful in history. The ritual was performed and the ships were allowed to leave port. The merry fleet sailed on for Gathalotio, sowing the seeds of the plague across the realm. This has come up before. Those five The men. name of that man, the ambitious man, who roused us from slumber was none other than Greed, Geniolja. Yes, you. Your father. God, his name was Greed? What? You're saying that my father caused the Great Plague? We promised you the truth, did we not? But why take our word for it? It is all here, writ in your father's own hand. If you have the courage to face the next truth, we shall await you above. Wait, Yoko! Alright, I feel like that's gotta be in the notes, right? Uh, Reed's log. Alright. Uh, granddaughter of the Holy Patron. All right, so he knew about the shrine. What else we have? Oh, secret messages in the Founder's Final Testament. I'm assuming that would be the first ambitious man that Yoko spoke of. All right. Um, here the girl and some manipulation the exorcist guys was popular with the masses All right, uh,
Creed calls it collusion. He's known as the ambitious man. Wow, okay. Okay. So, again, just a, another telling of the events. Events that have been alluded to throughout the game. Bats. Always bats. Might well be stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway. There we go, I've got all four of them. Just call it quits, get out of the encounter. Uh, what I should probably do if I'm going to be doing this uh, cheeky strategy. I should find a way to get more catnip. Um, or I could also just not do that strategy. It's also allowed. That fire breath attack is probably the biggest reason uh, Cerberus is in pain. Ventriloquism, which I already forgot what that ability is supposed to be. I know I don't really care for it. Uh, spellcraft abilities also affect any magic cast by all at the same turn. So yeah, I don't actually care for that. That's three slots for an ability that doesn't really fit in with my build, so uh, nuts to that. But I will go supernova. I would like to go supernova. Here. 
Again, with the mushrooms that I always forget exist. I'm not going to waste this opportunity to kill a guzzler. Alright, that was a lot of job points, and I've already mastered my jobs, so it was really not that useful, was it? Um, I think I need to go back to Boardmaster. The stat changes that we're looking at. Yeah. I think that's got to be the play, at least for Idea. Keep her on uh, Swordmaster. First of all, do I have any katanas that are better? Not by a lot. Okay, so I can keep that going. That's fine. Um, I need to be able to gain soul power. Otherwise, guardian effects are not going to work. I think I'll have to give up Protect Ally for this, and then Soul Boost. Soul Boost would be nice, but not critical. Alright, what's the next truth? Uh, it took you long enough. Did you read your father's log? No matter. It is time you learned the second truth. This is the tale of the sinful ruling. The wise men opposed to moving the young girl hoped that the ritual performed by the exorcist Geist would delay her departure. This would prevent the plague from spreading. But the ambitious man and covetous man were impatient and tried to foil their plan. Still, they could not stop Geist from reporting the girl's condition to the church's Office of Public Health. Upon receiving the report, the Office of Public Health ordered the girl quarantined and barred from further travel. Regrettably, right. it did not end there. The covetous man within the church appealed to the merciful man. The church should use their vaunted medicine to treat the girl, said he. And the ambitious man appealed to the loving man. The poor girl deserves the finest treatment the church can offer, said he. And so it came to pass. The merciful man and the compassionate man changed their minds. They ordered that the fleet be allowed to sail. And so the ships, with their treasure and the ailing child in tow, unfurled their sails and set a course for distant Gathalotio. The fleet birthed at many towns along the way, unwittingly sowing the seeds of death at every port of call. Only when they landed on their third continent did dire tidings reach the ears of the sailors. The first port they had docked at was in the grip of a terrible plague. Oh boy. Faced with a crisis and with morale low, greed, your father, you, made a decision. He gave every sailor in the fleet a flagon of rum, rum filled with poison. The men died, one after the next. Their ships, their treasure, the poor girl and her dear grandfather, all were swallowed by the waves. Perhaps the church had ordered that Eternia alone be spared. Who can say for sure? 
What we do know is that greed, and greed alone, made a triumphant return to Gathalotio. Though he had lost nearly his entire fleet, he had salvaged treasure enough to fill the church's coffers. He became a man of great standing in the church's hierarchy, and the very next year was blessed with his firstborn son. Denny, my brother. Yes. It was not long after this that the Dark Hand of the Plague came to Eternia. But here, why not read for yourself your father's words? Alright, we'll do just that. You have faced two truths. Have you the courage to face another? I await you in the halls above. Yeah, no problem. Alright. What's next from Greed's log? Uh Is talking about bribing people. Like Brave and Norzin. Oh, oh yeah. Norzin did talk about how uh, he had a team working on a vaccine for the plague. Okay, a uh, letter from the Pope. that part about uh, giving her the best medicine uh, that the church can offer. Let's see, what do we got now? Taking forever. Beavers. Uh, uh, lost ships. Good to do. Probably the reports of the plague. It's all well and good, I guess. Allies get first strike. I love getting first strike. Oh, you know, I could probably. Try this. This is my last bit of catnip, so I can't do R.I.P. anymore, but I wish I could take that back. Oh dear.
totally meant to hit Slumber Slice. Didn't work. Oh no. Alright, uh. Do a Soul Cannon. I guess we're not doing Soul Cannon. the soul cannon again. Love to see it. Okay. Um. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. That'll work. Right, give me more treasure. The needle. I can like dig up catnip because that would be nice. Get him, Adia. That's good enough. No sparkly there. Alright, so. Ruth number three. That, from a distance, that looks like a bunch of You do take your time. You have read your father's words, I trust? Very well. I shall share with you the third truth. This is the story, the true untold story, of the Great Plague. The first deaths were in the eastern reaches of Eternia, in a sleepy border village. The mourners grieved for their loved ones, their wails echoing through the mountains. Eventually, the cries faded away and a stillness settled over the land. From the depths of time it had found us. The world we feared most had become reality. As death lay heavy on the land, a young priest named Brave petitioned his elders. He sought to use the power of the crystals to treat the sick, but his petition was denied. Instead, the church sealed off the high roads. It cut off the border villages, leaving countless people to suffer and die. Angered at the church for forsaking the village of his birth, Brave resigned from the priesthood. He did not, however, abandon his duty. First, he saw to it that his friend Norzen of the Office of Medicine was given full authority to investigate the origins of the plague. He planted confederates in key positions, building a network that would allow him to monitor the inner workings of the church. In time, the plague released its grip on the world, though not because a cure had been found. It simply had no more victims to claim, until, that is, the coming of the second pandemic. A second wave of terror swept over the world. A new strain of the plague emerged, threatening to complete the extinction begun by the first. Thus began a long battle different. which pitted Norzen and his researchers 
against the deadliest disease the realm had ever known. Well, he had talked about this. Their work was relentless. Many researchers and their families sacrificed their lives to the cause. Unwilling to put his men at risk, Norzen took to testing new treatments on his own body, losing one of his five senses in the process. Then, yeah, that's gotta be sight, just before she right? herself succumbed, one researcher discovered a feline immunity that promised to neutralize the disease. She was able to transfer the antibodies to her daughter, a young girl named Minette. So it was that a vaccine was formulated that would bring the second pandemic to an end. The whole story is faithfully recorded here, in Greed's Log. Oh, we'll be checking As that out, As the people too. came to learn of the terrible crimes committed by the church, its authority began to crumble. In desperate hope of regaining the faith of the people, the church issued a proclamation. It would attempt the grand ritual. It was this, more than anything, that spurred Brave the Templar to action. These events, too, are recorded in your father's log. Have you the courage to press on in search of the truth? Then you know where to find us. Uh. Let's see here. Uh. Yep, so. Wealth upon return. Plague. A global pandemic. Brave ignored. Let's see, what else have we got here? Um, about Brave's departure. Several years later, five years later. Grand Marshal has made his move. Did not see it coming. At least Reed didn't. That offensive woman, sorry, I gotta. Thank you. 
Eat. All right, he tried to win their favor with money, and uh, it didn't work. They want the money, they just don't care about him. There's mention of the second plague. I have found her. That was the last one, right? Okay. Yeah. Meeting with uh, our old friends DeRoso and Juliana. Emphasis on old. Take a nap. Alright, guys. That's really cheesy, at least. Hope this special is enough to take him out, though. Please. Uh, it wasn't. Go all out and attack. That'll work. All right. The glimmer of treasure. I'm gonna pay for it. That's okay. This is fun. Yeah, okay, Sidewinder. Let's do it. Strats are very viable strategy. Lilith's kiss. That was totally worth it. Uh, 
should get the job done. Sure. It's been a while since you've seen holy weapons. I'm back and better than ever. Definitely feeling at this point uh, in the game, it's more about strategy than uh, actual character level, which is good. It's fine. Pressure for me, a remedy. Right, let's just get these logged in. than ideal, I would say, but workable. them all right Ruth number four must you always keep us waiting so I wouldn't but no matter I didn't the have to go through these random encounters you. we shall tell you of the trials of the white lion I do not know who that could be the Templar Braves uprising took control of the capital of Eternia and the Temple of Earth seat of the church's power the church having lost its ability to govern eyes now turn to its military might the disbanding of the crystal guard curiously enough this order came from within greed genioja of one of the high houses of the three cavaliers his motives were self-serving greed sought to protect his family and closest allies at the expense of all others. Houses Genialja and Camlin of the Disbander faction launched an attack on those who sought to keep the Crystal Guard intact. These opponents were led by two powerful houses that remained loyal to the order that Greed had begun to destroy. The two houses had in their service a swordsman, Jerome Balestra, whose skills were famed throughout the land. Balestra fought back bravely against the warriors of Houses Genialja and Camlin. Almost single-handedly, he fended off waves of opponents. But in the end, he was just one man. Balestra's brave efforts were in vain. Gates were breached, castles and manors put to the torch. With his dying breaths, Balestra entrusted his boy Jan to the care of his loyal squire. A man by the name of Arngard. At the same time, a young man named Nikolai, who had been tasked with leading one wing of the attack, gazed upon the hellish scene. Though he had only been following orders, he was haunted by guilt for what he had done. 
Though the once proud Crystal Guard was now but a name, Nikolai continued to serve, and serve proudly. He petitioned the church leaders for its revival, recruiting Jan and other comrades to his cause. Was it all to atone for that day? But that is a story for another time. Now, we return to the tale of the White Lion. The Genealgia and Camlin clans defeated their foes one by one, growing their power through bribes paid for with plundered gold. But disbanding the Crystal Guard had unforeseen and tragic consequences in the neighboring regions of Itania. Unemployed soldiers turned to banditry, pillaging the villages that had survived the plague. Concerned that public order was breaking down, Houses Genealgia and Camlin formed their own private armies to put down the bandits. Their armies grew mightier and mightier. Among those promoted through the ranks were men who claimed to have destroyed the home of the witch that had caused the Great Plague. How many villages were razed to the ground to restore the illusion of peace? Mm. One tragedy giving rise to the next. A never-ending spiral of death and destruction. And at the root of it, one man's ambition. Jan, Nikolai, Bella. So much pain, so much suffering. So much sacrificed for the glory and might of House Genioja. This... this can't be true. Stay strong, you. You had nothing to do with any of this. But in the end, wealth and power could not buy immortality. The ambitious man, the foolish man, died of a common illness. So ends the story of greed Genioja. Oh, how he entertained us so. <laughs> but you do not look so well. Mayhap the truth has taken its toll. Then I would advise you go no further. Oh, of course we're going Farewell, further. Farewell, my Minister of the Right. It has been so very delightful. All right, let's see what these uh, new logs say. All right. Uh... Old Archduke. No more church taxes. Good. Now there's the part about the Crystal Guard uh, being brought under control of the Duchy. Rebellion. can't even sleep anymore with all the sins weighing on his back all right uh 
that she's brought the crystal guard back. What else we got here? Okay, soldiers only know how to fight, even after they're kicked out, still only know how to fight. Uh, more years later, coughing up blood, annoyed by children. And there's a the mention of that uh, sword. Sword of the Brave. Every time I try to use Sidewinder to uh, exploit enemy weaknesses and really build up Magnolia Special, it's always uh, something that mitigates that. I guess it's fine, but let's see. Lumber. Hence, anyway. use uh, one of this should be fine kind of assuming that uh, lightning uh, it did pay off.
Oh, they don't want to make it easy on me. Very rude. All right, get out of here, you horrible thing. Oh, I gotta rub up against the wall for that treasure chest. worked out well enough. Oh no, I don't know where the trick wall is. Oh, it's just right there. Uh, I can't believe it was that easy. Alright, that's fine though. Alright. Blind. Nothing ventured. All this and that. Get a magnolia. Okay, what sweet prize awaits here? Blood blade. Uh, All right, not particularly. I care about. Although it is a familiar weapon. Uh. 
over here. Alright, um... Hang in there. That's fine. We can get out of here. Works out in the end. I'll take it. Uh, how many truths are left? We're on the sixth floor. I think this is the last floor. Or... Wait, I remember this blade, the sword of the brave. I expected you sooner, but you have come, despite our warning. You need not explain yourself. When the truth sings, who can resist its siren call? Let me tell you our... my story. I am a presence once known as a yokai. What does the word mean? Nothing to me. I am I, nothing more. Nothing less. I belong to and am beholden to no man. I have but one desire, to change this world we live in. Only those who have achieved true growth can lift the world to a higher plane, the next layer. So has the tapestry of history been woven, and so it shall continue to be. True growth means accepting all within you, seeing through the lies you tell yourself, and becoming that which you were meant to be. In that sense, one could also say, the more that is sealed away within your heart, the greater and stronger you might still grow. <laughs> oh, well, look who it is. But few have the courage to brave the dark depths within their heart and achieve their true potential. Many have tried, and most have met with fates worse than death. Oh, but there is one heart I've yet to peek within, isn't there? Let us see what you are hiding from us, Idia. And of course, every side quest has to center around Idia. My name is Idia Lee, daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia. Or the For Grand so Marshal long, of I was proud of now. myself, of my position, of my family. But two and a half years ago, I turned my back on it all. And why did you do this? I just couldn't accept what the Duchy was doing. Is that the whole reason? Or was it because you wanted to assert yourself, to claim your own identity? No, I... Were you seeking someone's approval? Tell me. My father. I wanted his recognition. Very good, Idia. Now let us go deeper. Loneliness. That is what you feel deep in your heart. That's not true! Of course it is. You do your best to hide it, of course. You smile and play your role. But Agnes has Tiz. Magnolia has you. Mother has Brave. Eleanor has Commander Goodman, Amy and Panettone, Holly and Barris. You see their joy, and you feel loneliness, sadness, fear. Stop it! 
For you had someone too, but he left you far, far behind. You will never see him again. The one you cared for more than anyone else in this world. And what hurts most of all is that he chose to leave you. You told yourself you were strong, that you would be fine on your own. Alone forever, with no one to stand by you. Not now, not when you grow old, not when you die. Damn. This is your truth, is it not, Idia? <sighs> Yoko is I miss deep. him. Ring a bell. Hey, there's that name. Idia! Ring a bell? Look! In the flesh. He's got the ribbon. I'm sorry. It isn't like me to keep a lady waiting. You alone? Nonsense. I've always been at your side, Idia. In Geyser Grotto, in Florum, even in Caldisla. I never forgot you, not for a fleeting moment. That's right. Anytime we've seen Alternus with the ribbon, ever since uh, Florum. Was it Florum? No, I guess it was in Geyser Grotto. Ever since then, that's been Ring a Bell this whole time. Anytime we've seen Alternus without the ribbon, well, that was this world's Alternus. So at the end of uh, Bravely Default, you know, Ring a Bell went back to his own world to make things right. Which kind of meant we never heard from him again. And he has been conspicuously absent. Even in Caldisla, when their memories return, the deal was like, yeah, this is where I met Agnes and Tiz, and he trailed off. He's been here the whole time. Don't believe me. Here, have a look at my journal. It's always about you, isn't it? I... I hate you! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to tease. Now, shall we return... together? Ring a bell? Also, why Alternus had his helmet. It's you! Because it wasn't his helmet you that was ring lost. ring-a-bell? That ring-a-bell? The one and only. But the merry reunion can wait. I believe we have a fox to catch. Alright, that's fine. Uh... Maybe we'll learn more about his conspicuous absence. Maybe. I make no promises. Okay. But I will... I guess I have to fight on. I suppose running away is always an option, but I choose not to. hit level 64 which is good what event awaits us here you hey. mean yoko precisely locked in battle with the plains wardens my comrades plains, plains watsons what are you even talking about hmm i suppose now is as good a time as any to explain 
Yeah, please explain, Ring I am forbidden from divulging classified information, but I will tell you what I can. We Plains Wardens are, as our name implies, the wardens of many and myriad planes of existence. That didn't quite clear things up? <clears throat> Allow me to elaborate. The tale would be best heard from Yoko herself, but this is one truth that fox won't be so generous about sharing. She spoke of a wish to change the world, yes? To make it a better place? She lies. She exists only to create chaos, and to revel in it. She uses our guilt, our sins, real and perceived, to achieve her nefarious ends. Do not listen to her deceitful words. Growing as a human being is about more than dredging up old fears and traumas. After our encounter in Geyser Grotto, I contacted my superiors. Apparently, Yoko has been designated by our department as an S-rank malevolent spirit of concern. It would seem she's been lurking on this planet for 4.6 billion years, give or take. Wow, okay. Are you sure that information isn't classified? <clears throat> the, the point is, I intend to defeat her and close the book on her villainy. But I'll be needing your help to chase her down, my friends. Of course! You can count on us! But just look at you. A Plains Warden! Whatever that is, I guess you're moving up in the world. <laughs> and you'd expect any less from me? Now, let's go catch this fox by the tail. No matter what the cost, I must defeat her. Yes, I must. So that none need lose another of their loved ones again. Hmm. I wonder if I can get a better look at this painting. I can't, other than to see that, uh... There are some familiar figures trying to hunt this fox. All right. Uh, enemies lurk out of sight. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I already forgot about the enemies lurking. Alright, the party's feeling brave. Ooh. Hate this. Greenly hate this. Try to manage uh, this. All right, we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping the answer is well. Not strong enough to do damage. The figure.
pick it up. Alright. Big gains. We'll take those. Nearly a thousand job points. Rest in the tents. See what kind of culinary adventure we've got. Ah, that was simply scrumptious. Ring a bell. My road has been a lonely one. It is comforting indeed to dine in the company of friends once more. Here's your coffee, Sir Ringabel. Thank you, my boy. Harina Mountain Blend. Ooh, these are fine beans indeed. Well, I think I'll clean up. Uh, care to help, Magnolia? Oh, uh, of course. Uh, you keep rubbing your arm. Has your wound healed? Hmm. Oh, more or less. You've been watching over us. For all this time. Uh. You could have said something, you know. You could have told me it was you. Would it have killed you to come out and say, Hey, Idia, I'm back! Well, say it! Say it already! Uh, well, what are you waiting for? You too, old friend? Just say it, ring a bell. Yes. I should have said it much earlier. To all of you. I'm back, my friends. There. Was that so hard? Good to have you back, ring a bell. I should say something to Agnes, too. She'd like that. I know she would. You, you oh. yourself, what are you doing there? Her Holiness is <clears throat> in the bath. She asked me to take her calls. But then suddenly I had these bad stomach cramps and I had to run to the restroom. Yes, it was a close call. Now, ah, what am I saying? It's not important. What are you doing with India? Well, wait, that voice from my dream. After the Kaiser attacked, I was gravely wounded, delirious. I can scarcely move. Fear not, I shall protect them, the Grand Marshal and the Idia both. That voice was... <laughs> That's quite enough, friend. I'm not interested in your, or any man's, dreams. That's Moving on to bell. matters of greater import. Did you say Agnes was in the bath? Uh, yes, what of it? Oh, well... This is a matter of the utmost urgency. I must, I repeat, must speak to Her Holiness at once. And don't switch the camera off. To her side, quickly, man. C camera? I, I don't understand. Ring a bell. Oh, wait! Shall I put a muzzle on you, ring a bell? Aha, uh -huh. forgive me. It was an innocent slip of the tongue. There is nothing innocent about that, ring a bell. <laughs> Tell us, Ring a Bell. After all that happened, did you find the world you were looking for? Why, yes. Yes, I did. Uh, uh, wait a minute. The chasm disappeared, right? So how'd you get here? Now that's a long story. I'd be interested in hearing it. And hear it you shall, my fair lady. You see, I wanted nothing more than to protect my dear Idia here, and so... Then why didn't you show your face? Why did you hide from me, you heartless pig? Yo, whoa, 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 let go, let go! Idia, mercy, mercy! Huh? You? Uh, what's the matter? The, 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 the croissants! The ones I set aside for breakfast, they're, they're gone! Oh, Idiot! No, that's a Yoko. I, I didn't touch them. That's a Yoko. <clears throat> uh, and with that, let's get going. Was it ring a bell? Hmm.
late as ever. Foul demon, prepare yourself. Prepare myself? For what, little man? When last I saw you, you were down below, cowering in terror. Cowering? Hardly. Anyhow, I've returned, and I've brought my friends. Ring a bell? Your wounds are still fresh. Leave Yoko to us. That's right. You've done enough for us. It's time we returned the favor. Right! Ring a bell, you provide backup, okay? Monsieur Plainswarden, stand back and watch a ball buster in action. But this was supposed to be my time to shine. All right. Go get her. And know that you have the best backup any dimension has to offer. Now, is everyone ready? I am alone. I belong to no one. And to nothing. I have no need of names. But you may call me Yoko. The Yokai. You wish to hear the truth. Then prove yourselves worthy of it. Claim it with your own strength, and the truth shall be yours. I vow to protect you, no matter what! to fight! I believe it's my turn. Here I go!
you, Jenny Olja, scion of the ambitious man. You struggle to free yourself from the weight of your family and its blood-soaked past. You, Jenny Olja, son of the villain who unleashed the Great Plague. Spawn of evil. How many lives has your great house ruined? Your family, friends, benefactors. How many fates have they twisted? Yet still you fight on, certain of your cause. Fight on, spawn of evil. Fight and carry on your legacy of sin. Shut up! Founder is founder! And my father is my father! They have nothing to do with me! Yes. Yes. Deny your past and bring about a revolution. That's not what I mean! Oh, but you sound so much like them. Dreaming of revolution, burning with ideals, and drowning in sentiment. <laughs> like father, like son. Enough! my microphone off the entire time. Embarrassing. Okay. That's okay. Give her the old soul cannon. Uh, and an assault mission too. That should be... That should be some work. Uh, I'll strike like a thunder guard to the heart. I don't like the way he said that. Ring a bell, please. regret this, but I'm hoping that this will negate all of my elemental weaknesses that I'm currently suffering from. I'd hoped. Alright, that's fine. Um, actually, we'll hold True it romance is a man's highest calling. Really busting out all kinds of uh, specials, and I appreciate it. How about no?
Ladies, to my side, I shall protect you. He's just going ham. But you notice how damage is in fixed amounts? close to the end of this battle. Let's let a DA. I'll save everyone. Oh. Ladies first, of course. Oh, thanks, Ring a Bell. You are strong. You would bear witness to the final truth. That's what I'm here then for. Go forth. It is yours for the seeing. Hey, we did it. We've bested Yoko. And we've got our final asterisk. That should have been obvious from the arena, but the Yokai asterisk. Take a look at the stats. So the Yokai is uh, more or less this game's version of the Conjurer. Uh, Well-rounded, with a bit of a magic focus. Uh, this one's great with katanas, and there are all these abilities. Uh, based on the seven deadly sins. There's also the specialty Echo, but we'll take a closer look at that in a moment. Let's view this final scene first. Late again. Oh, shut up. Although measured against my own eternity, two decades is barely the blink of an eye. In that sense, you are ahead of your time, you, Jenny Olja. To tell the story of Founder... We must go back far, far into the past. Yes, this is a tale from the far side of time. One day, two people came sailing in on a glimmering ship. I took quite a liking to these travelers, travelers from another world. I guided them through this world of ours, as they sought a way back to their own. Sounds like Altair. None of us foresaw what would happen next. It happened in a laboratory on board their vessel. A rare disease from their world somehow became mixed with a deadly illness from ours. The seeds of what would come to be known as the Origin Plague multiplied at breathtaking speed. Spreading beyond anyone's control. If left unchecked, the plague would claim all life on this planet. Everyone I loved. So I took the seeds of disease within me and begged the two to seal me away. And then I slept. Months and years and centuries passed. For a thousand eons, I slumbered. In time, the people came to believe that the cave in which I slept housed a god. 
they built a shrine at its entrance. The dynasty that built the shrine prospered, built a mighty civilization, then fell, as dynasties are wont to do. Through it all, I slept, forgotten, until some 24 short centuries ago. 24 centuries ago? That's DeRoso. It's the era of DeRoso. Founder came and roused me from slumber. He heard my story. He spoke to me. I can do nothing for you, he said. But someday one of my line will find a cure for the plague within you. Yes, someday he will come for you. So he said as tears welled in his eyes. At last, at long, long last, I will be free of this curse. Such was my final thought as I drifted back to sleep. I slept again, a shorter slumber. Two decades ago, I awoke to see greed standing before me. When I saw the ambition in his eyes, I knew. He was the one of whom Founder had spoken. As my forefather promised, so have I come. He spoke, answering the question I dared not ask. Greed flattered himself, believing he was the man destined to be my rescuer. He meant to sail me to Gathalatio, that he might there find the cure for the plague inside me. But such hope was short-lived. The plague spread and spread quickly. And so he sunk me, sunk all of us to the murky depths of the sea. He did this that Gathalatio, Eternia, and humanity itself might be saved. In his eyes, too, welled those pained tears. Yes, just like Founder before him. I understood everything but said nothing. Once again, I closed my eyes. As the waves claimed me, I could hear him cry out. I shall put an end to this foul plague. After that, Greed's heart turned cold. Kindness, human affection, such emotions were lost to him. They had sunk to the lonely depths along with his ships, one girl, and countless treasures. Father. Do not cry, you. Strange as it may seem, I am grateful to Greed and to Founder both. Because of Founder who woke me from slumber, I was able to learn that an old friend was safe. And Greed's heartless decision did help bring the second pandemic to an end. Greed and Founder, two men of ambition. For better or worse, they changed the course of history and shaped this world. Now it is your turn, you. Yes, I will be watching with interest to see how your chapter of history plays out. <sighs> Thank you, my friends. You've been most cooperative. Idia, you have my gratitude. Wait, what's going on? This better not be another goodbye. Forgive me. Strictly speaking, I was not supposed to reveal my identity in the first place. Because this pocket we're in belongs to Yoko, we were able to make an exception. But only for a short time. No! Just stop right there! You can't leave me again! Idia, I never left you and I never will. It's like I said after all. Wherever, whenever you are in peril, there I will be. Ring a bell. But before I go, I have a task for you, Magnolia. Me? What would that be? Yoko, with her unearthly powers, held sway over the sins of mankind. But now that she has left us, these sins will be unleashed, free to run rampant over our world in the form of fearsome beasts. 
Oh, je comprends. Say no more. I've got it under control. As a ballbuster, protecting the peace of Luxendark is my sworn duty. We shall find these beasts of sin and destroy them when we do. If our information is correct, the beasts slumber. They sleep in great monoliths, stone monuments scattered across the land. Ah, and Tiz, I have a special request for you as well. Of course, anything you say. Tell Her Holiness Pope Agnes that ring a bell sends his regards. But I fear all good things must come to an end. And now I'd best be on my way. Ring a bell, no! Fear not, for we shall meet again. Till then, my friends, be well! All right, and with on that note, I want to pull up the uh, the final job, the yokai. All right, so first let's take a look at its special ability, Echo. On casting a spell, I have a twenty-five percent chance of casting the same spell a second time with no cost. That's always fun. A chance of double cast. See all of these. Diabolism levels. So we start off with Lust and Thundaja. Uh, but we gotta find those first. Uh, Gluttony and Acid Breath. Avarice and Blizzaja. Cloth and Flyraja. Wrath and Three Blades. Envy and Consume Life. Pride and Erosia. And Disguise. I don't know what disguise is. Uh, let's see, as far as support abilities go, there's Echo again. Obliterate, just like the Conjurer had, but this time it's just a one slot cost. Uh, if you are 20 levels higher than your enemy, uh, they just die instantly. And you still get all the rewards. But, uh,. You can't chain battle with it. That's the trade-off. But you'll note here, level 11. Well, that's because of this ability here, Awakening. So Awakening is uh, what Yoko was talking about. Uh, uh, there's still untapped potential. Uh, by acquiring the Awakening Support ability, uh, that lets you take any job level from 10 to 11. I mean, you still have to raise that level. You don't just get level 11. Um, but once you learn the level 11 skill, then you can remove Awakening. So, just for example, let's look at some of the uh, favored jobs that I've been using. Meow to the max. Uh, all Cat Mancy and Cat Mastery moves are increased uh, by 50%. Let's see, our Patissier turns Pie Storm which is an incredible debuff. Four pies, each lowering a different attribute by 25%, which, um, you know, for free, do that on a boss. You can just lower their attacks and defenses for free. I guess it doesn't quite synergize as well with uh, the whole item usage thing, but that's a pretty incredible thing. Swordmaster. Uh, eye for an eye. Whenever one of your allies takes damage, counterattack with a powerful physical attack. Four times damage, which, uh, for reference, uh, nothing ventured does two times damage. Four swine does three times. 
Yeah, that is also... That's also looking like an incredibly powerful uh, boost or counter that I want for my counter build that I've been going for. You can also look at Guardian Twin Souls. Uh, that gives you access to all the abilities of someone who's possessed or who is possessing you. Um, abilities cannot be used if the possessee's job level is insufficient. Uh, whatever. Uh, that's something you can play with. Probably not as as valuable, I would say, as the, uh, the counter everything move. Crossfire. Here's one. Twenty-five uh, percent chance to follow up with an attack when an ally inflicts damage. That's good. Um, what did the ninja have? Impermanence. This is an interesting ability. Uh, reverses the effect of all attribute bonuses and penalties. So, uh, I mean, yeah, that if you're in a dire situation, you've been debuffed to hell and you hate it, you, you can just use impermanence and turn them into boosts instead. Just, uh, it's probably not as important, so I'm not too worried about using it. Uh, just because I've got ways of buffing myself that I don't really want to uh, reverse that, but you know, that's something that our friend the ninja can do. Spellcraft level 5, Nova. Or Nova is uh, one of those double-edged swords... Apparently what it does is uh, inflicts, well, it changes the spell to target uh, all combatants at double potency, which, you know, you gotta have a good setup for that. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, meanwhile, only magic level seven fates. I don't know where you get it exactly, where you get the scroll, but you can actually inflict love on on enemies, which is wild because that should be like a, a uh, what am I trying to say? It should be like an enemy exclusive thing. Uh, it, Hell, let's go through all the other abilities that are going to be unlocked. Late Bloomer. This was the specialty of the freelancer in uh, Bravely Default. Um, and it was something you couldn't learn. Well, now you can. And you can apply it to any other job. Every job you master to level 10 uh, will increase your stats. Well, your health... MP, attack, and physical defense. I'm surprised magic defense isn't included, but whatever. Uh, Charioteer, Achilles Heel. This is an interesting one. Uh, one I like, anyway. Like the sound of. Uh, attack a monster family weakness. Do critical damage. Always. Spencer uh, learns Bloody Wolf. Bloody Wolf is a lot like Blazing Wolf, uh, but it raises your attacks to the maximum, so if I guess that means it raises them to 150% instead of 125. Um, and then you can also still use uh, your other moves. The Astrologian learns Status Barrier. Don't know where that spell is, but you can probably guess. It makes you immune to negative status effects. Uh, Red Mage, Chain Spell. You like double casting? 
You're like doing it on purpose every single time? Here it is. Thief learns Prince of Thieves. Uh, steal a rare item. It says usually unstealable. You're into that kind of thing. A summoning level five. Ah, yes. So the Conjurer in Bravely Default let you uh, use summons uh, to buff your own stats. And the Conjurer is gone from this game. It's just not a job anymore. Uh, but the that concept of buffing your own stats, that lives on through the summoner at level 5. Um, white magic level 7, raise all. I don't think you need me to tell you what that means. Uh, merchants learns insurance. Upon taking damage, receive P equal to half the amount of damage sustained. So there's an idea. You get hurt, you get paid. You can get up to 10,000 or 100,000 P per battle. Uh, and that means individual battles in a chain battle. A black magic level 7, flare. Typical high level magic spell. Savage beast. Here's an idea. Um. That's interesting. I was uh, looking into what these uh, level 11 abilities were, and the descriptions were a little off in the guide I was looking at. So I think that guide... Well, that guide kind of wasn't great. Um, it seemed to be based on, like, fan translation, so I'm not surprised that something was wrong. But Savage Beast, Wild Berserk... An 80% chance of unleashing certain physical attack abilities without paying their cost. So normally when you're Berserk, you still have to pay the cost. Um, well, normally when you're Berserk, you, uh, you do your physical attack. So you get all these Slayer attacks, or you can even get Multiburst. Uh, so you can just do that. At no additional cost, 80% of the time. Not a bad idea. The guide I was reading said uh, you'd have an 80% chance of controlling yourself. Said. Knight's Iron Wall. Um, take hits in place of your allies. Physical hits, as long as they're single target. Exorcist, auto undo. Uh, just every single turn you just go back to your previous condition combine that with like a full charge you can really unload uh, with that this is an idea and of course won't trigger when you're KO or uh, it'll actually hurt you somehow Monk, Crouching Tiger. Get it? Because the uh, Hidden Dragon. Crouching Tiger, reduce all allies BP by one. Uh, quickening from the Valkyrie. Make jump attacks land faster. Pirate gets Bully. This works well with a uh, Patissier. Do bonus damage for status ailments. Uh, the performer learns the grand ship. Hey, what do you know? That song. Uh, the grand ship uh, raises both of your defenses by 25%. As opposed to 20% for a single type of defense. Uh, counterpart to hearts on fire. I'm magic level 7. Quick go. Uh, uh, that is, I think, full party and a uh, greater. Ooh. Quick gives you more hits per attack, per conventional attack. Uh, Quick, uh, I think, 
uh, does even more hits for a longer duration. I think that's what it is. All right, Funeral Pyre. Uh, I mean, interesting, I suppose, but not something I particularly plan to use. 30% of your health. Your max health. Dark base physical attack that does more damage when the enemy has lower BP. Uh, Kaiser has Overlord. All attacks hit for critical damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure he we he used that in the battle we fought him when we fought Denny. And the Templar learns Weapon Guard. It is its level 11 ability. If you are hit by a non-magic attack, the same turn you perform a physical attack with a weapon equipped, damage suffered is reduced by 25%. So, yeah, as long as you are attacking physically, uh, you just take less damage, as long as it's not magic. So yeah, that covers all of the level 11 job abilities and now you can really do some shenanigans of course it does take about 10,000 JP on top of what you've already got to make it work but uh, it's fine Yeah, that's our reward for doing the final uh, job side quest. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Alright, you know what? We've got... Oh. Alright, well, here are the spells that I was wondering about. Resolve. Uh, flare. Right, the level 7 spells, at least raise all and flare, cannot be reflected, so that's good to know. Um, I'm just a little surprised. Base power 120, damage 2.75. I'm also surprised that flare is fire damage, because uh, traditionally it's non-elemental or arguably its own element. Look, uh, raise hit count by 100%. Yeah. I think regular quick uh, is only 50% for a couple of turns. Fates. Uh, there it is. Okay, I was mistaken in how fate works. But uh, having someone, like, mimic you is kind of an amazing ability. Like, there's no mimic ability, or is there? Well, there's got to be a mimic. I'm sure that's like level 10 freelancer and I already forgot because I'm looking at that. Uh, but being able to induce that on your own, that's pretty cool. Uh, protect against all status ailments. I mean, you love to see that. Yeah, there's our level 7 spells. What did that fox say? Alright. Obviously, we can't use those abilities just yet. But, uh... Alright, we'll take a one last look. Beasts and monoliths? What's the matter, Tiz? I was thinking about what Ringabel said, about these beasts that have taken the form of monoliths. You mean the monsters that appeared because Yoko wasn't around anymore to control humanity's sins? We shouldn't mess around. We need to find those monuments and get rid of these sin beasts before they cause real trouble. D'accord, but first we must prepare for the trials ahead. Yeah, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Um... 
All right, I guess that is where we will leave things then.